I do intend to be part of a team of young people. I consider myself as a young person because I have young ideas. I have fresh ideas. And I, 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 I intend to pull young people in this country to participate. How do you do that? Get involved, not just to say that, okay, you are let them get into positions of responsibilities. Can you give me one example? For example, why don't you give a young person a chance to head a commission on entertainment and, in the, uh, and the recording musical industries and so on? Give a young person and see what is going to happen. Maybe. Why don't you call a young person and say, today you are going to be in the board of the electrical com commission of the company of Nigeria. Give him a chance and see what he can do. Why don't you call, and the young person should be a person who is within his uh, 30s, you know, to 40s. Give them a chance. Give him a chance for him to run our aviation industry and see what he can do. We... Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Chief Mamadi. Uh, I already have a good example. I'm the only one with a campaign manager, a national coordinator. He's only 26. And the man is shaking the whole world. Yeah. That tells you that I believe, if you look at the founding fathers of Nigeria, at what age did they start? So it's not just in the area of entertainment, it's also in the area of politics. And that's why I like what the young guys are doing in this world today. Because this is serious. It is, so we shouldn't restrict them just to entertainment. What we're doing affects their lives. And the earlier, if I, one of my biggest regrets today is that I did not go into this in my 20s. Now at 50, we now have to contest with people in their 60s and possibly in their 70s. So we must get serious and catch them young. Once you do that, you will see that a lot of these things uh, would work for our country. Thank you, Chief Mumonte. Well, th thank you very much. I think the questioner was asking how do we involve the youth in policy making. Yes. Uh, my idea, which I've already translated into practical terms in my state, is you encourage the youth to form associations of different kind of activities. Encourage them to be uh, coming together uh, with so many youth associations. Can you give me an example? For example, you have, for example, the Young Farmers Association. You have the uh, Young uh, Traders Association. You have the young mobile uh, but how does, that, how does see, that then translate to the participating in your policy formulation? You know, that's why I'm going to if you form these associations then the leadership of these associations will from time to time be interacting with government which will be a channel through which you'll be involving them to participate I don't quite agree with the approach with my, of my brother Nuhu it's not just picking a youth on the street just for the dancing to the gallery appointing an inexperienced person. I don't mean to say all the youth are not experienced, but the important thing is it's not just appointing the youth into positions that is important. The involvement of getting their ideas, of course some of them that are found to be fit in terms of their background and in terms of their training can be given positions of responsibility, but the important thing involving them in policy formulation will be more effective through the various youth organizations that you do have and you encourage them to form these organizations where they will sit among themselves, discuss issues, come up with suggestions, and government will create an atmosphere whereby the leadership of the various youth organizations will sit together under a certain umbrella. Thank you, Governor Shakara. We're going to take one more question from the video. While we wait for the video question, we have a general question which you might like to start to think about, which is, yeah. if you don't become president, <coughs> oh, we're about to take the question from the video now. Okay. By the 28 years old, from Ben State, the first time I have a candidate, what do you do about the 
topic, kind of especially the value of the Naira as against the other currencies, the other economies. How are you going to make it easier for us, young businessmen, to do business with people in other countries? Chief Mamodi, would you like to start? Yes. Uh, you just have to improve on your income and make sure that as many people as possible are employed. And I'm, so, I'm happy that I have the chance to go back to that. Even Kano is saying that he was able to employ 5,000 people. I hope I got that right. Not to employ, to empower them. To empower. Give uh -huh. them skill. And I'm saying 5,000 is too little in a state that's supposed to be one of the largest. 5,000 every year. Yeah, every year. It's, it's very small.